I'm pressed to do a vlog and I'm pressed for time. So I'm trying this wreath tutorial in my car on my lunch break to see just how easy it is. So I just cut this wire. Took a little piece of this and I have this burlap. I'm using a light colored burlap for this project. And I'm just gonna attach the wire through here in order to attach it to this. And we'll start it here. And twist this around. Okay. And let's see how fast I can do this. I'm gonna take a little loop with it folded in half and I'm gonna tuck that up here, through here. And then I'm gonna take this bottom part and I'm gonna tuck that up through here. And then I'm gonna tuck this part up through here. And I'm gonna keep the loops all the same, the same height. There we go. Maybe a little bit more on each one. Yeah, I want it to be a little bit full, so I'm gonna go there. And then we're just gonna push that over. And then I guess you're supposed to twist it at the back. <clears throat> I don't think that's really necessary, so I'm just gonna go around and bring another loop up here. Another one here. And another one here. I'm basically just stuffing it through here. I'm not even trying to maintain any kind of um, fold. I'm just gonna pack that in. And I think we can fit four of these little things on here. So we're gonna go to the next one. And just keep going. And you don't even need wire to attach it at the start. You can use a string. I don't know why a lot of tutorials say you need a wire. I don't think that's necessary. I just happen to have that. Okay. So it's looking cute already. Look at that. And then one more. It's gonna be hard to get four on each one, but it makes it look nice and full, so we'll just keep it going. Cute, right? Look at it. I'm really impressed. And this is how it looks in the back. Alrighty. I'm going to try to speed up a little bit now. I'm creating this wreath as part of a challenge that's hosted by Aurelis from My Happy Home and Jenny from Deco Easy. The challenge was simply to create a fall wreath. The top two sections done. I'm pretty much doing the same thing each time. And I will attach this with another wire since that's what I have. And I'll come back when I'm a little bit further in. Okay, so this is how much I got done so far. I just have this top part left. Links for My Happy Home and Deco Easy can be found in the description box below as well as a link to the playlist to see all the other participants. And then there's this, just this one more little space left. That's going to be my last loop. There it is, it's all complete. It took me 20 minutes to do it. To make this a real fall item, in some way I'm gonna incorporate these, some of these into this. And then we'll be all done. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So here the wreath is um, after I brought it home later that day. This is um, me using the gold tool that I had shown earlier. I'm tying it around in four places to begin with. And I'm just making some bows just to give it that little frilly look, the same as the burlap. And 
And as I mentioned before, I wanted to use the orange and the blue because I just wanted some pops of color and I wanted to use something that made it look more fall-like. So I doubled each color and I wrapped it around the wreath as I'm showing here. As I'm putting this together, I'm not liking it at all, but I just kept going to see if I can make it work. So I tied some more gold tulle around that and it didn't look good, so I made a bow out of all three colors to see if that could make it look a little bit better. And I put that up on the top and I hated it. So I went back and cut out the blue and the orange and just left the gold, and I made a, a bow with just the gold. And this is how I put it on the door it's not hanging yet but this is how it will hang in when fall gets here I put the bow at the top because I thought that looked a little bit better so this is um, almost the final result I found out later that um, I forgot to add a piece I needed to add a thrifted item to this so I went back and got this twine and found my little gold heart and added that as my thrifted item and this is the final result And I love decorating with hearts, so this was perfect. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.